Good day, friends of Fuzzy. It is vaccine time, and I am going to blow your minds telling you how to use your Buzzy to have a painless immunization. If you have followed us for any amount of time, you know I never say painless. I never say pain-free. It's against my philosophy. But today, I'm going to show you a new discovery, and I promise we'll warn you before we show you the injections, but I really think that we've been wrong for 22 years, and there's a better way. Going to do a little history, a little physiology, and then the news you can use. For 22 years, we've been studying needle pain and vaccines. Recently, it's been in the news because people are all advising and suddenly discovering that needle pain matters for future health care. One guy is talking about using 30-minute creams for vaccinations. The problem is there is not a single study on 30-minute creams for immunizations, and even the 60-minute creams that are approved for infants or that have worked don't work for older kids. Their skin's too thick. There are 37 studies on Buzzy, and 36 of them show that it decreases the pain of vaccines. Here's what is happening. So when you have motion, it vibrates a nerve that dumps a certain neurotransmitter into the back of the spine. What is going on is that this vibration is releasing adenosine and it stops the transmission. People say, oh, isn't it distraction? Actually, in studies in the late 80s, they showed that cat's nerve firing completely stopped with vibration. Okay, so if you know that, when we study nerves, it's all in one pathway. And that's why we started with saying with Buzzy, put Buzzy between the brain and the pain. If you're getting a shot on your deltoid, put it upstream between the brain and the pain. But MRI data now shows that actually what's happening is that the motion doesn't just dump in one area. It dumps on both sides of the spine, it dumps above and below. It's like there's this big soup and the more vibration you add in the more areas, the more pain blocking you get. Okay, so here's what happened. I was at the American Academy of Pediatrics. Dr. Ospina shows me this video and it has a needle, but it's kind of hidden. What he says is you put the buzzy in the triangle where the arm meets the chest. And he said, it's miraculous every time. They just stare at me. So I tried it last year one on one side with flu, one on the other with COVID, it was a lot better. I told all of our Buzzy Brain Trust. This year, knowing and understanding the MRI, I tried it again. Here's the video and oh my gosh. So I put the Buzzy in the triangle and I put it with the vibrator up towards my shoulder. Um, Dr. Espina does the other way. I don't know if it matters, but I was digging around for a solid 32 seconds and it didn't hurt. On the other side, it did. So to sum up, what I think is happening is this multidermatomal placement or the Ospina method is stimulating multiple different dermatomes and dumping a whole lot more pain blocking neurotransmitter into the spine. So the four takeaways for you are, if you are in a practice where you're using two buzzies at once, do crisscross applesauce, have the kids hold one in each hand, cross and put it in that little triangle. Number two, if you are doing two shots, please try them in different arms and tell me which method works best for you. Number three, when we're making breakthroughs in science, we can be wrong. And the more we understand about the mechanism, the more we understand how to use the technology. And finally, if you were going to do it the old school way, use some ice. Till next time, it's going to be fine.